Well, the day's finally come to pull the manifold off Nick's shit box. We've got the stock 5e manifold coming off and our new sick intake plenum going on. Um, we're all welded up and ready to go and then we realised we hadn't put the accelerator bracket on yet. Um, we got one here that we thought, yep, we can weld that on there. Um, we've worked out where the cable hole and stuff has to go. But now we don't actually know where the cable has to mount to. So we've got to mount the manifold onto the car, mount the cable onto this bracket, set it all up where it's going to go. And um, that way we can get a perfect adjustment there. Mark this, weld it on, and then intake manifold is ready to go on. Mate, I'm not paying you by the hour. Can you hurry up? Yeah, it's just a bit fucking tight in here, Mark. I literally can't see. Boy, this is going to be sick as. But then when you're going to take the intake manifold off and the nitrous lines are in the way, you're like, why the fuck did I do that? All right, Nick's doing the honors. You can bolt it on, mate. So the manifold's on, put the cable on. A tricky little bracket there. Just need to work out where that's going to sit, do some marks, weld the bracket on. So I'll scratch that so I know where to put this bracket. It'll sit on there, something like that. We'll weld her on. Oh, bracket turned out alright. So we've got an intake here off a of 4 EFE, that's just the NA one with the little throttle body. Now the ECU we have is set up for the 3 pin one, and the 4 EFTE ones have a 4 wire. Um, TPS, so we want to keep using this. Now we need to figure out how to mount this onto the new throttle body setup. Um, first of all, we need to change this um, adapter here so it looks straight and flat like that, so the TPS can sit on top. Um, and then we need to work out what we can do with the bolt holes, but I've already got a pretty good solution to that. Right, oh, Nick, do you see what's going on here? Yeah, I get no idea. You could simply just drill new bolt holes and put that wherever you want it. But the problem is the TPS won't centre and it wobbles around. And I've done this before and it just binds up and throw those funny things. So we get this thing. We can weld that on there in the centre and then the stock TPS goes and bolts straight on. That's fucking sick. Sick. So we got our chopped off bit from the throttle body. We've modified that pin there so it suits the TPS. So we're going to go get this roughly in the center and then weld it on. So we welded that into place. Sweet. We tried putting it on, we got dramas. Try and bolt it on and Nick's got some dodgy looking fuel rail adapter that goes to that 516 hose if we go and modify the bottom of it there's going to be nothing really holding that bolt on anymore and the adapter could blow off and finally burn this car to the ground so we've got a solution got another fuel rail and you take the old reg off replace that and put um drill and tap it and put a what is it m12125 to a dash six and then we can change this little short hose here to the fuel reg and that will um, fix that drama. You, what's in there? So this is Nick's fuel rail and this is what we're talking about. If we were to take this end off, there's really not a great deal holding that plate on. So that's why we're gonna change the fuel rail. It, it's good that we're changing anyway, because if you saw what was actually stopping fuel from leaking out, you'd cry. I, I wanna see what's stopping fuel leaking out. Oh, Nick, what it? So this used to be longer with an O-ring and I snapped it I remember now, this was, this was back when it was in the grey car. I snapped it and I was like, oh yeah. And I put some orange RTV in there and bolted it down. And that's what's been stopping oil from leaking for probably a year and a half now. You make me sick. Oh, no, fuel, sorry, that's, it was E85. <laughs> All right, that's no good, don't do that. Oh, you, I've known people that have burnt cars down. You this can say no don't good. do it, but it's worked this whole time. It has worked, but yeah, arms and legs work too. <laughs> Anyway, so we're not doing that anymore. We've got a fuel rail, stock fuel rail here. That's the factory hose that has this bolt. And this bolt's M12 by 125. If you can upgrade your fuel system, get rid of that and go to an AN style fitting, which is M12 125 on this end, and then it goes to a dash six. 
Problem is, when you go to the fuel regulator end, there's no thread in there. So you can get a M12125 thread tap, run it down there, um, and then get that style of fitting with an o, um, not an O ring, a copper washer, and run that on both ends. And that makes it super easy to run those aeroflow fittings or speed flow or pro flow or whatever you want, and you know, sort of guarantees you no know, leaks there. So I was going to show you how to drill that out, but I don't have the fitting on me. So we've robbed the fuel rail off the blue car because that's not ready this weekend, and that's going to have to do. When you're using any sort of fuel fittings, don't put thread tape on there. You've got to get this Loctite. I'm pretty sure it's 4.7 something. It's just a thread sealer. Um, you can put oil, petrol, anything like that on it, and it won't dissolve down, and then you're guaranteed it's not going to leak. Two or just one? One. So we found a bit of hose and it was easier to move the fuel rig than shorten the hose and try and put another fitting on there. Hey, it's gonna work. Wait, it works sick. The manifold's bolted on. We just had to modify the engine or dipstick. Um, we've put that out of the way. It's all tight, ready to go. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Just the intercooler pipe. Like so. It's a shame the cable's not long enough to go underneath, but it still looks tidy. Mm, looks good. That's it, she's on. New custom intakes on. Had a bit of an intercooler pipe there. Vacuum box is all hooked up. Go and next her up. Not bad, not bad. Might as well go have a quick drive. So I left the bottom pipe loose and it's blown off. <laughs> hey, it's definitely blown off. Yep. Alright, take two. Second gear. Well, the new intake manifold is absolutely sick. Now we're gonna have to get it back on the dyno and actually pull some real numbers. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.